Hey everybody, today is Thursday, December 28th, 2023, and we are here in Claremont, Florida. And the reason why we are in Claremont, <laughs> Florida today is to take a look at something that I, I love. I hold very near and dear to my heart. As you guys know, I love these. We visit them quite often. Danielle, though, has never been to one before. This is your first one of these ever. I'm, I'm excited about this. So we're at the um, Orlando Health Center, the big hospital here in, in Claremont. So look at a permanent installation they did back in like 2007, 2008. It sits right on top of that hill up there. Unfortunately, we really weren't able to get to it without parking over here across the street at whatever this building happens to be because I think they're doing at the surgical center because they're doing construction over at the, the hospital and everything's kind of messed up. And I don't, I don't actually know 100% we're going to be able to get to this thing. We're going to, I don't care if I have to hop a fence. We're checking this out. We're here. We? We're still. We're, you, you can wait on the other side of the fence. I'm hopping the fence. I'm checking this out. Fences be darned. It's a permanent installation for for residents of the, the hospital and for residents of the area. I'm a resident of the area now, so I'm checking this out. All right, so this is kind of um, weird. We have to cross the road now, and again, normally we would probably park up in the parking lot, which is up there, but since it's all under construction right now, we're gonna we're gonna walk up through the the grass to get to where we're going. We want to get to the area up there where the palm trees are. I don't actually see a fence around the palm trees, so I think we're going to be okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to be okay. I know how much you love walking through No, there's so many grass. fire ants. <laughs> Just be careful of the fire ants and you'll be all right. It's worth it, trust me. For, for your first time ever doing one of these, it's going to be worth it. They're all hiding anyway, it's raining out. The ants don't come out when it rains. We're good. All right, I think we're okay. I don't see fences around. Oh wait, I, I lied. I lied. The fire, the fire ants are very much, definitely, out right now. Anyway, now that I got fire ants in my shoes, we're good because um, the fence is not uh, is not blocking off what we're here to actually see. Oh yeah, fi the fire ants are definitely, definitely out today. Oh, all right. So the good news is, I don't feel as old and out of shape as I normally do. Because usually when I come to see these with somebody else, it's usually a, a nine-year-old, my, my son, Sean, and he's just running and jumping around, having a great old time. And I'm, um, I'm winded and I, and I can't <laughs> breathe half the time. Thankfully now walking up that hill, you also got winded. So, all right, I, I don't feel as old and, and out of shape anymore as I, as I normally do. Whew, we need to go to the okay, gym. So technically, I guess, um, what we're here to see is actually off limits at the moment. Sidewalk closed. So the actual fence blocking off the construction is not around what we're here to see. So I'm, I'm guessing if we just, um, oh, I see. It's just damaged. The sidewalk is, is damaged. So if we just do what Danielle did and we skip through the, the bushes here where there's a missing palm, missing palm tree, we're, we're good to go. So. The reason why we are out here in Claremont today is to take a look at their labyrinth. It says, welcome to the labyrinth, a space of renewal and inspiration. The same pathway that takes you to the center brings you out again. May you find peace on your journey. South Lake Hospital extends gratitude to the community for support of the labyrinth. This is actually a fairly epic Labyrinth. I mean, I, I, I've been to many labyrinths. This is one of the largest ones I have been to. Recently, some of the labyrinths I have gone to have been a lot, a lot smaller than this one. Yeah, this one's huge. I got to give it to the hospital. They, they built an epic labyrinth. So you're, you're ready to do this? Mm -hmm. Now, as I've always said, and I always say in these videos, there's no right way and no wrong way to do a labyrinth. You can run through it. You can skip through it. You can hop over the the lines, if you really want to, it's all about what you want to do. I'm going to take the actual path though, but again, you can do it however you want. Me though, I'm just going to walk the, uh, the straight one, maybe not so straight path, the, just the regular ordinary, ordinary, ordinary path. So after some further research, it turns out the uh, labyrinth was actually dedicated and opened in 2000. Seven. I like how you you're like like you're on a tightrope. You have to put <laughs> you have to put your arms out to make sure you don't fall off the off the path. 
Anyway, so the um, <laughs> the Labyrinth was open and dedicated in 2007. It's a medieval 11 circuit Labyrinth, which as we know means it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sort of circles, which again, for a while I wasn't quite sure what um, circuit meant, but it turns out that every time I go to a new Labyrinth and it says eight circuit, 10 circuit, 11 circuit, etc., if you count the numbers, it does equal that number every single time. So 11 circuit medieval Labyrinth. <laughs> I can't get over the, the, type, the tightrope walk <laughs> you do there. What? It's relaxing. Again, no right way or wrong way to do a labyrinth. If you want to walk the trail like you're on a tightrope, you can do it. Whatever. Yeah, I'm walking the center of the center. Like... Whatever, <laughs> make, whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat. I know Danielle would completely disagree with me, but we're having beautiful Great. weather right now. No, this is perfect. It's cold. You're nuts. It is so <laughs> nice. So it is so it is so nice out right now. You are insane. There's a light breeze blowing. Temperature-wise, it's fantastic. The sun is hiding behind the clouds, so we're not being beaten down by the rays of the awful Florida sun. I love it. This is perfect. I have a light jacket on and I feel I feel fine. I'm also digging the setting of the uh, the labyrinth. I love the the trees, the palm trees. Very Florida. This labyrinth. Say what you will. I think it's beautiful. I'm having a. I'm having a great time in this weather. It should just be like this all year round. No, it would oh be. God. It would be perfect. Also, there's fire ants. There's, in the oh, there are fire ants in the, the labyrinth. I'm not entirely sure how far we have made it around the labyrinth. As I again always say with the labyrinths, you never really know. We we've, we've kind of made it over to this side, but I'm sure at any moment we'll be somehow back over there. It's always confusing. Every twist, every turn, you never really know where it's going to, to lead you. <laughs> You're having fun, see? How'd you get so far behind? I, I have I have no idea. But yeah, you see, you see how much fun labyrinths are? Do you see why I do these all the time? I mean, no, I agree with you. I think they're very relaxing. They are. I do like, um, like sand tray ones at work. <laughs> <laughs> so you make your own labyrinths? There's like there's like sand tray like yeah, that people can like trace with their fingers. It helps with like relaxation. Well, then you know all about how relaxing labyrinths are. This one is very relaxing. Again, I like the size of it. It's huge, it's gigantic. And if you come out here on a day like today, where the weather's beautiful, if you come out today, come out on a day like today where the weather's beautiful, it is the perfect day for a labyrinth. Beautiful outside today, beautiful outside today. You do, though, have to watch for the the fire ants. They are definitely out today and inside the the labyrinth. But, I mean, that's just kind of par for the course. If you've never been to Florida, these things are everywhere. No matter what yard you go into. Do you know why? Wait, did I go the wrong way? No. No, no, no. I'm walking back. To oh, I was, so, I was so confused. I was like, how are you heading towards me right now? I see you turned around. What are you gonna see about fire ants? They have no natural predators. Is that why is that why they're, they're everywhere, everywhere in Florida? Mm -hmm. There, you see these like they're almost like termite now. Like depending on where you go, I've been driving the, driving down the road. Yeah, and I've seen these huge, these gigantic things. mounds. They are terrible. I wish, That's I wish there was a predator for them. Me too. But what'll happen is, Florida will get it in their mind. They'll, they'll find out that like in some other country, they do have a predator, and they'll introduce that predator into Florida to help wipe out the, they'll help to wipe out the ant population, only to find out that that species is also invasive. And then that takes over all of Florida. Cause that's kind of the way we, we do things. We, we introduce one thing to help with another, another thing. And then that thing ends up taking over. So I think we could just live with the fire ants for right now. I mean, they're, I would, they're a nuisance, I but they're- I would not like to live with them in the driveway. Yeah, we have them in our, we have them in our driveway. It's uh it's a pain. We keep trying to get rid of them. There's all kinds of different ways to get rid of fire ants and uh, they'll, they'll go away for like a, a week and then they they just come back. I just cannot get over the tight rope walk <laughs> of Danielle. I dig it. I mean, I, let me, let's, let's try. All right, so you're walking in the very, very center? Yeah. I think it's just an issue that you have to actually, like you can't walk in the center without, without putting your arms out. <laughs> 
doesn't work. You, you, can't, you can't walk in a straight line, one foot in front of the other, without having to I mean, I to balance to balance yourself. Can can you though? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so again, as I was saying, I have no idea where exactly in the labyrinth we are. We were way, way over there where Danielle is now before when I mentioned that. And then we ended up walking over to this area, kind of in the beginning of the labyrinth and onto the, the outskirts of the labyrinth. So we were, we were over there making our way towards the middle, only to find out that we had to walk back over here and make our, make our way back towards the, the outside of the labyrinth so again it just it just goes to show you you never really know where where you are in the in the labyrinth you might think you're getting towards the center you might think okay we, we got to be done this by now right we've been walking for like 10 15 minutes the labyrinth has to be coming towards an end only to find out that uh, no you got to walk back towards the beginning back towards the outside and you are nowhere near done the labyrinth yet, which is one of the things I love most about these. The fact that they just seem to, seem to never end. And they just keep on going forever, but that's why they're relaxing. You just, you just calm your mind. You walk the, you walk the trail. Just kind of see where it leads you. The labyrinth is made out of these brick pavers and it's really interesting the way they, they cut them like that. I've seen many different labyrinths made out of pavers, but I've never really seen one that had, uh, had actually been cut like that. Interesting the way they they did it. I like the way this labyrinth is uh, is designed. I like the fact that you can actually see the the pathers. If if you are a a labyrinth builder, a labyrinth designer, you're gonna put one of these in your your park or at your hospital or your school or whatever. One thing I can tell you from uh, one thing I can tell you from other labyrinths I've been to. You have to be careful with your pavers because these can fade over time. Your what once were dark black or dark gray pavers over time can fade to the color of your non black pavers and uh, you won't actually know where you are. Again, this is this is put by, put down here in 2007. So they they've held up. If your if your bricks can hold up in the Florida sun, you know they're going to be good for a while. How did you get so far ahead of me? She, she's already at the end almost. And I thought, okay, well, what, I gotta take like two more twists and turns and I'll, I'll be there? Apparently I have to now walk all the way around the labyrinth, or well, I gotta walk all, all the way over to the center here of the labyrinth. Now I think it'll take me towards Danielle. Yeah, you got you way more ahead of me. But again, you can take the labyrinth at your own, your own pace. You can walk quickly and briskly like Danielle, or you can walk slowly and just take your time like I do. No right way, no wrong way to do a labyrinth. And we have found, again, we're gonna, we're gonna do it together. All right, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna, how are we gonna do this? Oh, Wait, so we're not, we're not done yet. Ah, <laughs> I didn't see the Again, again, it just goes to show you, you think you're done only to find out. Not quite, not quite yet. All right, so actually we are just about done. We only have to take a couple more twists here until we do actually get to the, the end. All right, all right, here we, all right, here, here we go. Gonna walk into the center together and we have, <laughs> We have made it to the center of the labyrinth. Your first ever labyrinth center. Happy? Worth it? Woo! Just watch out for the minotaurs and you'll be, you'll be okay. <laughs> okay, so we, we have found the center of the labyrinth. We have made it, but if we're gonna go by Sean rules, as we all know, the Sean rules are, once you find the center of the labyrinth, you haven't actually completed the labyrinth yet until you've walked the whole thing <laughs> backwards. And as the sign said, the path that leads you to the center also leads you out as well or something. I'm, I'm paraphrasing something along those, those lines. So we have to do it one more time. We got to walk from the center to the, the beginning. Okay, carry me this time. All right, pick, piggyback. Go ahead. Ready? Ah! 
So what is it you were saying about labyrinths? They are good for the practice of mindfulness to help you stay focused and stay in the present because you're focusing on walking the path rather than like all the intrusive thoughts that you might be dealing with. And this is coming from a doctor, so you can you can trust <laughs> you can trust anything Dr. D says because as we all know, a doctor never lies. <laughs> I think the way Sean's mind works, the way my mind works, because we both have the minds of a child, is that the the gray bricks are like it's like walls. Like yes, te technically you can you can step over. I know you can step over. He knows you can step over. But we don't really look at it that way. We we look at it as as though these are legit walls. And if you want to get from one side of the labyrinth to the other, you have to follow the path. I mean, you don't, again, you don't have to, if you don't want to, but the way we look at it, we have to follow the actual path. They are walls. It would be interesting to find, and I want to know if one of these exists, an actual labyrinth with legit walls, like in the movie, The Labyrinth, the classic David Bowie film done by, by Jim Henson. I love that film, but I want to know, is there a labyrinth out there like that where there's actual walls? It would be interesting to find one of those, but it would be absolutely yeah. terrifying because <laughs> I would feel like I was trapped, even though- It would be very anxiety producing. It would be, even though I know it would be a labyrinth, which means it's not technically a maze. There's only one way in, one way out. You, you, can, you couldn't get lost in a labyrinth like that, but just knowing that, I don't know, with, with the walls and closing in on you, like it would, it would be terrifying. Yeah. I would. There would be nothing about that that, for me anyway, would be relaxing whatsoever. As somebody who has agoraphobia, that would not work. That would absolutely ter- Yeah, watch out for the ants. That would absolutely terrify me to walk through a labyrinth like that. However, with that being said, if a labyrinth like that exists, comments down below if you know where that labyrinth is because, I mean, it might be worth visiting, right? Just, I'll hold your hand. I was gonna say I'm gonna need you to hold my hand because I will, I will be terrified. Some deep breathing exercises. <laughs> It'd be good training to help me get over my agoraphobia. <laughs> I mean, That's what it would be. Exposure therapy. Exactly. Though I would be terrified. I haven't really been able to figure out if this labyrinth is open to the public or not at the moment because again, it's not walled off. I know this construction guys there were us some dirty ones. There were some construction guys who just walked by who were sort of like looking at us like, what are these guys doing over here? But it's not fenced off. Exactly. It's and not, like that little sitting area is You're open. right. It's it's not fenced off. There's a area over there where you could have a picnic. But there's really no way to get to this, at least from what I can tell, without either walking yeah. through construction or walking up the the hill. I'll go over there in a minute and, and see if there's a way to actually get to this labyrinth. But from what I could tell anyway... The only way to actually get to the labyrinth was to walk up the hill. So I guess it's kind of open to the public, but also sort of kind of closed off, but not not really. I'm not entirely sure what they, they plan to do. This is supposed to be a, a permanent installation. Though I saw in pictures, there was like more stuff that was already supposedly built. There was an actual garden. Aww. So again, we'll walk over there in a minute, but I don't know if they if they've torn that part of the garden up or if they're going to re, re yeah, yeah they're going to rebuild it or maybe it just never was built i'm not entirely sure what's going on with Green the um spaces promote healing and can nature can that increase your recovery time that was the idea from what i read on the their website when they talked about the um, the dedication in 2007 they were saying just that it was a place for patients to come out to and and help with their their healing yeah, process exposure to green spaces and like nature and nature sounds can lessen like your feelings of pain so like it can lessen your need for pain medication oh. at least some research suggests that says dr d <laughs> <laughs> so that's good to know so with that being said if you are going through something, whether it's uh, some sort of physical ordeal or a mental ordeal, a labyrinth would be a good place to come out to, right? Any, yeah, any outside space. But most like a labyrinth. There you go. That's what I'm trying to, I mean, gardens are great, but <laughs> labyrinths, 
Labyrinths are, labyrinths are king. The nature sounds of just the birds can like reduce your cortisol levels and like reduce your stress levels and that reduces inflammation. So then you're like less prone to disease. The more you know. I was going to say the more, the more you know. Where are we? We've been kind of just walking and talking this entire time and I have no idea if we've even walked half of the labyrinth yet. I feel like we've been walking for a while now. We're right by the the center, which probably means any any moment now, we're gonna take a twist and it's gonna take us to the very we're outskirts. Going back this way. We are going back this way. Yeah, I, I have no, no idea. I feel like we have been walking for a while now, but oh, we okay. still haven't, we're what? We're on the other side now. <laughs> Leave it to us to get lost in a labyrinth. <laughs> no, I crush it at mazes. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not a maze, it's a labyrinth. I know, but just saying. I, cru I crush it at labyrinths. <laughs> I, if, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's, it's finding my way through a, through a labyrinth. <laughs> we, are, we are legitimately lost. I just, I took a turn and went, wait, didn't we just come from this way? And no, no, we did not. Okay, we're, we're good. We're actually almost at the, at the end. All right, yeah, we we have def we we have gotten lost in the labyrinth. That that's that's what we did. Somehow That's because you're in the front. Uh, oh, I see. We 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 didn't get lost finding our way to the center because you were leading, uh -huh. but because I'm leading on the way out, we've gotten lost. I mean, it it, it makes sense. <laughs> All right, so we have just about found our way to the uh, the end. We do have this little once again, little twist here to take. And then once we take this, <laughs> we have found the end of the labyrinth. So we have completed the labyrinth here at the Orlando Health, the um, the South Lake Hospital. That was pretty fun. That was a big labyrinth. It took us a little while to, to walk through all of that. But you know what? I feel cool, calm, and collective right now from walking through that <laughs> labyrinth the sound of the the birds chirping and all the what's the other stuff you were talking about uh, the, green <laughs> the green space all that stuff has put natural me natural light is another big one well, there's plenty of that in florida all that stuff has put me in a good <laughs> a good place right now i feel calm i feel re relaxed <clears throat> i'm losing my voice though but besides that i feel great minus the, the fire ants eating my <laughs> eating my feet right now so now that we've actually done the labyrinth, I do want to walk over to the other area over here. So again, in photos I saw at the dedication, there was this, the gazebo, and then like a sort of like four square kind of um, garden area. But I don't see the garden area anymore. I'm thinking maybe it, got, it maybe got torn up in the the construction because from the uh, the photos I saw, it, it did take up a big plot of land. And I'm guessing if they're building a new structure over here or more parking or, or who knows what. They're, I mean, they're definitely doing something over here. As you can see, the whole, the whole area is torn up. I think at one point the garden was, was over there. Though unfortunately, it's not there anymore. As much as I love a garden, though, as long as the labyrinth remains, <laughs> I'll be happy. It would be nice for them to rebuild the garden. I hope they do. But... As long as I keep the labyrinth, I'm still gonna say things are good. But again, as you can see, there's no real way to get to the labyrinth. Here's the gazebo with the bench, and then the whole thing is just completely walled off. That's the parking lot I thought we were gonna park in, but the whole thing is, is walled off. There's no real way to get to the labyrinth. So if you're looking to get out here during the construction, you're probably gonna have to do what we did, which is park over over yonder, across the road, and then walk up the, the hill. And don't go in there, there's like 18,000 hornet's nests. Where? In, inside there? Where's the hornet's nests? There's like a ton of them. Where? Oh my gosh, there are. Are there actually any hornets in it? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> there are a lot of, all right, so, I assure you the labyrinth is very calming, but just watch out for the wildlife because you could possibly get stung by a hornet <laughs> and bit by a fire ant. If that's, if that, if that's not I feel a good, like the fire ant is honestly worse. Prob probably. So besides those two things, 
very calm, very cool, very collective. <laughs> Labyrinth that puts you at one with yourself as long as nature doesn't freak you out. If it does, I still recommend it. <laughs> All right, guys, so I think that's just about gonna do it for the Labyrinth here, the South Lake Hospital at Orlando Health, the sort of semi open to the public <laughs> Labyrinth. I'm not, if you want to climb a hill full of fire ants, you're good to go. I, I, again, I don't really know if this is, if this actually is open to the public at the moment, but it's not, it's not walled off over here. There's just no clear path to actually get to the labyrinth at the moment. But I, I do think if you want to come out here, you can still experience it. You can still walk the labyrinth if you, if you choose. You just have to, again, climb a hill full of fire ants. You can't actually walk. No, if you walk the other way, you can get in. It, oh, if you go, yeah, okay. You have to go, you have to go that way around the labyrinth and then you're good. Or you can just be a rebel like me. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm walking on the, the broken sidewalk. Or you can just be a rebel and get right to the, right to the entrance slash exit of the South Lake Hospital Labyrinth. Or you can walk through the <laughs> little garden area where the, the palm tree is, is missing. But this was a pretty nice labyrinth. I enjoyed this. Like I said, it was very calming. It was very soothing. It's a good labyrinth. And your first labyrinth. How did you enjoy- It was enjoy, a nice labyrinth. How did you enjoy your first of what will probably be many, many labyrinths? It was magical. You looking forward to doing more of these? Oh. Every single one's different. This labyrinth here will be very much different than the next labyrinth we go to, I, I promise you. It's relaxing. <laughs> I think I like labyrinths more than, well, I was gonna say more than you. I think you like labyrinths, I think labyrinths more, than more than anyone. most people. <laughs> <laughs> I like a good labyrinth. What, what can I say? Leave comments down below if you like a labyrinth or if you've been to this labyrinth, leave your comments down below. But <laughs> all right guys, that is gonna do it. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show. And they do keep the show going, so I really do appreciate the support. And if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, hashtag... Danielle's first labyrinth. Ooh, all right, hashtag Danielle's <laughs> first labyrinth. If you guys watch this video all the way until the very end. But all right, guys, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.